Welcome to the Senate. This place has many names. The Upper House, the Red Chamber, the place of sober second thought. I'm here with recently appointed Senator from Wellington County, the Honorable Rob Black. Rob, thanks for joining me. Thanks for now, the invitation. Now, as a recently appointed Senator, is there something about the Senate that most impressed you when you first came here to take your seat? So, it's just a, a, an interesting facility, a place to work. The history, the cardinals, the the actual protocol that uh, takes place in this chamber is, is without a doubt something that has impressed me from the beginning. I am just in awe uh, as I walk up the stairs and through those doors. Just in awe of the sort of people up here. Now, unlike the House of Commons, which is green, the Senate is, is upholstered in a deep red with red carpet and red seats. What's more, tradition dictates that the Queen, or her representative, the Governor General, may not enter the House of Commons. As such, all functions involving the head of state happen here in the Senate. Now, for events such as a speech from the throne, the Queen, or the Governor General, is seated on the throne at the front of the chamber, with their consort seated to their left. Above the thrones is a sculpture of Queen Victoria. You will notice that throughout this building, Queen Victoria, as Canada's queen at the time of Confederation, is a constant presence. At the south end of the chamber is a brass bar. When members of Parliament are summoned to the Senate for a speech from the throne or to witness a royal ascent ceremony, they are required to stand behind the bar, which, with 338 MPs, it can make it a very tight squeeze. Canada's Parliament has shown remarkable stability over the past century and a half. And with dedicated public servants like Senator Black, this institution will thrive for centuries to come. Thank you, Rob. Really appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks for the opportunity, guys. Oh, thank you.